Coming up this weekend is another big block party for Habitat for Humanity. Got the executive director, Marty Crow. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning. Ahead. Thanks for having us on. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, big day. Doing it it's again. It's our second annual in Belfair. All so right. We had some great success here in Shelton and also in the Belfair store a year ago. We thought we'd do a repeat on the block party, invite all friends, family, kids, dogs, anybody that wants to come out and have a good time, eat a little food, get to experience some uh, upcycling activities, and uh, observe some of the upcycling projects that various uh, experts in the area have brought to us. To That's always display. fun to see. Yeah. I like that. Habitat's online at habitatmasonwa.org. And uh, how are things going up at the Belfair store? Always looks busy when I drive by there. Yeah, they're doing really well. Both stores um, broke some records this, this month, the month of August. So that's good news for us. Nice. Um, helps fund our mission. We also uh, are in the process of wrapping up our 27th house. That house is up on Grandview and we got the driveway poured in last week and the the uh, flooring is in. They're just doing final trim out. I think appliances might go in today. Wow. So we're probably within about three weeks of getting the family set up to go into that house. Very so that's, cool. That's a huge uh, win for Habitat. Each time we get to dedicate a house and move a family in, that's the best part of what we do. So. Oh, yes. And that's a oh, two-story yes. house. It over is, in yes. Grandview first two-story oh. Habitat affiliates built. It looks very similar to the two adjacent houses. That's yeah, why yeah. We built it that way. So You guys got the same architectural plans, right? Yes. On yeah, we did there. some modifications to it to meet our requirements but yeah it's been a great project a little different building a two-story you know the eve is 28 some odd feet off the ground sure so it's way up there sure but yeah we've had a lot of partners help with it help in the community to make it a success so. you know stick with that plan uh or at least know now that you can do a two-story or are you going <laughs> to yeah, go back I, I to the we'll one it up till we can do <laughs> <laughs> we did we may not go back to it. right but no we're yeah go we're back good now <laughs> the, the, the real constraint there was a narrow width of the lot yeah so mm. on the standard city lots we have plenty of room to get our we call it a stock plan nice so okay. 29 is going to be up by mountain view school mm -hmm. that is dug out the foundation should go in the next two to three weeks and then we'll get started on that one Very talk cool. about the volunteer uh the needs for the volunteers i know there are uh, times when work is done um but it's probably prudent to call ahead just to make sure that if volunteers come up, there's going to be work to do work to be done. Yeah. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is pretty standard on the construction site. We generally start about 9 a.m. and try to wrap up around 2. Um, outside of that, working in the stores or if you want to do admin work within the uh, volunteer group or the the coordination within the office, you can call into the office. They'll uh, set you up with any schedule you'd like to work. Mm -hmm. The stores are available anytime between like 9.30 to 10 in the morning all the way till 5.30 in the evening mm -hmm. if you want, if you have um, time you want to commit. It's always helpful to have people in the stores, but we do love to have them on the construction sites also. Right. Very good. And then this uh, uh, upcycling thing again, too. This is where someone takes something, an uh, old armoire that may have 17 coats of paint on it over the years. Gosh, I love seeing stuff like that. Yeah. Make a fish tank out of it or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know, I, I, one of the most unique ones I saw was an old armoire that someone had taken a... Um, uh, I, I assume a jigsaw to it, cut an oval hole in it, and dropped a sink in it, and turned it into a bathroom van. Oh, and that very, was very cool. nice. So you see a lot of people doing different things. Um, one of the neatest things we saw at our last block party was a gentleman who does acrylic, um, I, I guess it's like poured on, mm -hmm. and then he tips whatever, like if it's a coffee table or whatever, uh -huh. he tips it and creates these really cool swirls in the different colored acrylics. Pretty amazing work, and he's going to be at our block party again in Belfair. Oh, fun. And people love what he does. He actually does it right there to watch so people can watch. Oh, so very fun. cool. Yeah. That's even better. And again, it's upcoming this Saturday. Starts at what time? 10 o'clock. We'll be there until 3. We have a great raffle. We have some food. Um, people can buy, I think they're doing hamburgers and hot dogs for that way we support the kids too that love hot dogs so. mm -hmm. you know it you know it fun and again you can find out more on where you can donate or volunteer your time with a great organization habitat for humanity at habitat masonwa.org very cool marty good to see you thank you thanks for having us on. good uh, good to see you and have fun this weekend